and giving voice. A doctor to the stars has found a new way to save their voices and their lives. From ABC News headquarters, this is World News with Charles Gibson. In medical news tonight, a breakthrough in treating a form of cancer that can destroy a patient's quality of life. Treatments for cancer of the vocal cords often rob patients of their ability to speak normally. But a radical new approach is saving voices as well as lives. Here's our medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson. To Dr. Steven Zytel's world-renowned voice doctor, this may be the sweetest sound in the world. It's the sound of vocal cords vibrating, the vibrations we then shape to talk and sing. Dr. Zytel's has a passion for preserving the health of vocal cords. In fact, he saved some of the most famous voices in the world. Now, Dr. Zytel's has developed a breakthrough in treating vocal cord cancer and his research is already paying off for Sefi Rivlin, one of Israel's most beloved comic actors. In 2006, Sefi was diagnosed with vocal cord cancer and offered traditional treatments, radiation or surgery, which would work but permanently damage his voice. It's mean not to talk ever, forever. For me, in my prof profession, it's like a death penalty. So, Sefi agreed to undergo Dr. Zytel's radical new approach, using a special laser that targets the tumor's blood supply, thereby killing the cancer cells. You're directing the light, but you're only directing it under a microscope to the cancerous tissue and you don't affect the normal tissue. Just breathe through your mouth. Initially, Sefi's cancer filled most of his voice box, so he needed a series of laser treatments. Top of the voice box over here. A miniature camera lets Dr. Zytel's precisely guide the laser fiber through Sefi's nose down to the voice box. Laser on. With short pulses of laser light, he zaps the tumor's blood supply. And you see it immediately alters the microcirculation and it turns white. In the 10 treatments Sefi has undergone so far, the transformation is stunning. This is what Sefi's voice box looked like when he first started, so filled with tumor you couldn't even see his vocal cords. These are his vocal cords today. At this point, I see no evidence of cancer. I am very pleased. I'm very pleased too. Thank you very much. What does it mean to you to have your voice back? I can talk, I can sing, not on stage yet, mm -hmm. in bathroom. I think very nice, but I can sing. I can talk with my children, with my grandchildren. I can talk. Tomorrow at the American Bronchoesophagological Association, Dr. Zytels will report on his first 23 patients. All are cancer-free and all have excellent vocal function. Dr. Zytels believes he has ushered in a new era of treatment for vocal cord cancer where losing one's voice isn't the trade-off for saving one's life. Dr. Tim Johnson reporting tonight. And if you'd like to get in touch with Dr. Zytels, he'll be answering your questions at our website, abcnews.com. And when we return, a leader among the giants, honored at the White House today.